Now let me show you the simple process of how you can hide your WordPress admin menu items from WooCommerce Shop Manager. We'll start by installing a simple plugin that will give you a superpower to hide your WordPress admin menu items from WooCommerce Shop Manager or any active users that has been registered on your website. If this is your first time on this channel, my name is Ito Reja. This channel is all about creating WooCommerce online store. Without taking much of your time, let me jump into my computer screen and show you the exact way on how you can solve this problem. Now, the problem is on the default WooCommerce rule, like this is the account that we want to use for this video. Log, have log into this account and it comes with the, the default WooCommerce shop manager role. But as you can see, I still have access to um, the WordPress post. I can add posts, I can do other things. I still have a whole lot of assets. So this is where the problems come in. So the main purpose of this video, we have to hide all these things. So let me jump into my the admin of this account and show you what to do to solve this problem. So this is the admin of the this is the admin account for the online store. So I'll go over and install a, a new plugin. What have in the plugin right here? We're going to use this WP custom admin interface. So click on over there and search for the plugin this is it so go ahead and install the plugin and wait for the installation process to complete and click on activate now the next thing for you to do is go over, over back to the menu section you see the new menu items that is here so you get to go over to this section that we have at main menu Now what we have to do is we need to this so this this is where we have to disable any items that we don't want it to show up for other users. You know? So right now I'm going to disable this. Don't want it to get access to post. Okay, they can get access to my media. I don't want to get access to post because they can manipulate something. Uh comments, uh then let's show that there's no need. So template no products yeah they will have access to you will have total control of the products WooCommerce yeah you have total control of the WooCommerce think uh, extension is not uh, I don't want to have access to the extension yeah okay so I've disabled extension I'll disable the status that should be meant for the technical team analytics they should have access um to all the analytics marketing very good elemental no that's the designers so i'm going to one thing that i want you to take note of this you might see some plugins name some menus name right here on my screen but on your own screen you might not see it because you know when you install some plugin in wordpress the plugin pops out the new menu items right here, like this WP form. If you don't have WP form installed on your own WordPress, you're not going to see it over here. So just make sure that you disable everything by clicking this eye button. And you don't want it to show up. Then I'll just go ahead and finish up with what's I don't want them to have access. Or, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so that's all. Take note of this. This is very important. Now, implement this for everyone. You have to choose everyone. Except, so we need to add someone that we don't want this implementation to carry around. You know? So, I'm going to pick a user right here. So, I'll just do, I'll just, I'll just have to exclude the administrators. So, this, this very account that I log in right here is the main admin of this account. So, if I mistakenly allow this for everyone, I won't have access back to this site to disable these things, you know. So, I have to exclude these settings from reflecting to this user. So, anybody that has admin role, this thing is not going to show up. So, I will, I'll go ahead and save the settings. And, uh, almost done. Yeah, it's safe. Now, if I reload this page, as you can see, there is no change. 
on this very section because it is still with the admin account. Now, this is the account that I want to log in right now. Account that has the effect, the settings that we just implement. This is this account. This account. This is the account that has the shop manager role. So I'm going to log in in the, another browser to access the accounts. So this is the accounts. And uh, before, currently, um, we have all these things. So since I've implemented a new settings from the other admin accounts, by reloading this page right now. We are going to see that a lot of things has changed. Look up to the menu section. All we have is just the media. I'm giving access to the media, I'm giving access to almost everything on the work comments section. The products, very good. Analytics, very good. Yeah, and the marketing. So it just that just simple, you know. So that's uh, the process. You just have to install the plugin and make this at all. All right. So, if this video helped you, kindly give me a like and subscribe to this channel for more helpful World Commerce Online store tutorials. Thank you.